Welcome back. Little change in the weather as far as days for wildlife. Uh, that, that is true. Normally we do it on Wednesday, yeah. Wildlife Wednesday, but during uh, from now through October, we do quotes for kids busy, on yeah. Wednesday, and I couldn't just <laughs> skip the animals all together, so we're doing Wildlife Thursday through October, and uh, uh, how could I resist pictures like this? I love this picture from John Schwant, who noticed driving by a Coeur d'Alene uh, soccer field that they have not won, not two, but three fawns uh, playing goalie. One, <laughs> two, and three. That is adorable. Uh, thank you so much, John. I wouldn't know what they would do if you kicked a soccer ball in their direction. Now, this fantastic uh, picture, two uh, deer here for your uh, approval from Jesse. Uh, we don't get many young wildlife Thursday uh, contributors, but 10 year old Jesse uh, sent this from his property in Spirit, Washington. So thank you very much, Jesse. I want to see more pictures uh, from Spirit. And finally, uh, from our good buddy, Mark Vogt. Another big bear, that's a big bear. Uh, and a hungry looking bear. It's about time to hunker down, bear. Uh, surely looking for something to eat. This was near Medellin Falls. Uh, Scary. I love that shot. I'm getting ready to post these pictures on my Facebook page. They'll be up in about 10 minutes. 75 uh, right now in Spokane and sunny northeast winds at 6 miles per hour. Clear skies, beautiful in Coeur d'Alene and 75 with light winds. Here's a look at our satellite and radar. We have a ridge of high pressure that's brought this beautiful fall weather this week. Changes are coming as an upper level trough approaches. Not a lot of moisture to work with as this moves in, but we will be cool and unsettled starting tomorrow night and continuing right on through the beginning of next work week with at least a slight chance of showers each day, particularly over the higher terrain. Now here's the latest computer model and I was thinking uh, that we would be staying dry through the Cougar game tomorrow. That's important tomorrow evening. Uh, but here we are starting off at our current time. Clear skies, gorgeous evening. The chance of Aurora Borealis tonight. Again, on my station Facebook page, I have a link with a 30-minute forecast uh, from NOAA's uh, Space Weather Center where you can gauge when the aurora is peaking. If you want to go out and take a look, get away from the city lights. It's very difficult uh, to see anything if you're anywhere near light. All right. <laughs> Back to the matter at hand. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We are still clear across the inland northwest, but starting to see some clouds filtering in across the Cascades. Dry, dry, dry. Clouds start moving in tomorrow evening. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Just starting to see a little bit of light rain developing on the Palouse uh, west of Pullman, and then almost like it knows when the game is going to be. Uh, Stay tuned, that could change, but plan that might get sprinkled on at the game. Satellite and radar nationally, Maria pulls away from the coast. We have showers and thunderstorms through the southern plains. That heat wave has finally broken. Uh, no more 90s uh, on the map, except for Atlanta, New Orleans, Tampa, places where you might expect to see 90s. Phoenix, 86 in Vegas, 86 in Seattle. Hmm. Here is your seven day forecast, 75 and mostly sunny tomorrow, 70 or excuse me, 61 with a chance of showers on Saturday. But look at the percentages. I think the headline here is the cool down uh, 50s and lower 60s. Yeah. Uh, but hit and miss sprinkle here, a shower there. Not a deluge by any means. Thank goodness. Although I know at some point we're going to need some more moisture. And maybe not on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not for your, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.